Welcome back, attractive and well-educated watchers, to a brand new series on our channel, Ruin Arc. Normally on Mass Destruction Monday, we focus around worlds that are in the midst of being destroyed or have been destroyed, but this particular time, we're going to play Ruin Arc, and Ruin Arc is going to be all about making the apocalypse. So, we're supposed to be some evil warlord. Making the Apocalypse. Oh, actually, we don't really care that much. It's cool. Alright. Let's do a new game. <sighs> Let's do the tutorial for you guys. But we swear to whatever god is popular... That if this tutorial is like Endzone's tutorial, and it just literally sets you up to fail, we're gonna be so peeved. Okay, that's apparently us. Oh, maybe. Hopefully. He looks pretty based for an evil warlord. Seems nice. You know? Sweet deal. Creating structures. So the idea here in this game is that you are the evil overlord and you're causing chaos and destruction. Alright. Oh, place. Okay. Okay, let me see what's going on. A little difficult to go wrong with this little place nestled between the mountains next to a lake. Alright, in Ruin Arc, you are a powerful demon overlord bent on invading worlds. You cannot manifest yourself in the mortal realms yet, so you must exert your influence through various spells and minions. Though the game's end goal is to wipe out the villagers, it would be more fun if you approach your invasion in a more creative manner. This tutorial gives you a variety of spells and abilities from the three different archetypes to show you your options. We're ready. Okay, what's up here? Okay. Look around. Oh, okay. Okay, zooming in out. Okay, we see what's going on here. Oh, there are indeed people and things around. Alright, we unpause the game. Click on an object, like a rock. Click on a villager. Like... Rat? Alright, and click on a house. Bam. Click on a villager. Open its info tab. Okay. Info tab provides you with basic information about the villagers, such as combat stats, affiliate... He looks kind of baller. Uh, affiliations, temporary statuses, permanent traits, and items held. <coughs> Alright, he's sprightly, he's a beast master, and he's suspicious. He is apparently kind of bala. Alright, let's look at Rhett's mood. The mood tab provides you with an overview of the villager's current state of mind. A villager's mood is primarily affect, affected by the statuses. The lower a villager's mood, the less cooperative it is with others, and may eventually run amok. A villager also has several needs that apply various statuses depending on how high or low they are. Alright, now let's look at the relationships tab. A relationship tab shows a villager's relationship with its neighbors. A villager will not cooperate with its enemies, so one subtle way of reducing a villager's power is by having its residents dis dislike each other. Nice, and finally, the log tab provides you with timestamp list of what the villager has done. At this point, nothing. Apply vampirism. Oh. Okay. Afflictions are flaws that you may apply to a villager that will affect their behavior. Afflictions have a limited number of charges. Once you've exhausted its charges, there is a long cooldown before it's replenished. There are a vast number of different types of afflictions you may experiment with. You can turn someone into a psychopath or a vampire. You can afflict somebody with a zombie virus. Sweet. Okay, we see we see where it's going here. Reanimate during nighttime. Ooh, nice. 
Okay, okay. Well, we'll afflict him with vampirism, as we are told to. Click on the trigger flaw button. Trigger flaw is a special ability that allows you to force a villager to perform actions related to one of their flaws. Not all flaws have associated trigger flaws, but most do. Boink, we'll turn into a vampire. Nice. He is now a vampire. Open build menu. Choose the eye. Oh, okay, okay. Place it in an unoccupied area. Okay. Okay, we see what's going on here. Okay, maybe that's not where we want to build it. Maybe we want to build an eye over here. Yes. Yes, that's where we'll build the eye. Oh, it's a bunch of... It is a bunch of literal eyeballs. Okay. Storn Intel, keep an eye at the bottom right. Okay, sure, sure. I will notify you there. Some notifications can be stored as Intel. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Uh, click on the Spells tab. Cast Rain. On anything, or just... Right here. These are powerful magic that you can have cast on a tile or area of the map. All spells cost mana and have a limited number of charges and have a short cooldown. Alright. Produce water vapor from wet tiles and poison clouds from poison tiles. Okay. Okay. Lightning. Cast Splash Poison. Oh, oh, everything is electrocuting. Burn the poisoned floor with a meteor. Oh, wait. Oh, maybe we have to... Poison floor over here. Splash poison, right? Oh, he dead. He's super dead. Okay. Opened build menu. Choose the kennel. Ooh. Breed monsters. Right here. Yeah. Place on an unoccupied area. Seize a monster. Okay, okay, one moment. Let's look at the info on the sludge. What about these giant spiders? We do think we want the sludge. We're gonna seize this monster. I'm gonna put it right in the kennel. I'm gonna click on this here monster. I'm gonna breed it. Uh, open the demon tab. Okay, okay. Alright. Invader type demon. Uh, oh, one more. Invader. Okay, pride demon or wrath demon. Pride demon. 
spawn anywhere. Each demon type has a fixed behavior. For example, an invader type, such as Pride, will assault the nearest villager settlement. You're done with main tutorial. Killing villagers may be quite easy if you simply use spells. The real fun is when you get creative with it. Try to start a zombie apocalypse, or let the villagers fight amongst each other by making them do various crimes, or figure out how to turn someone into a necromancer. Good luck. All right, well, we're just going to keep playing from here on out. Well. All right. Butchered. Dawn. Uh, still don't know how to store intel yet. It, it didn't even tell us. I will notify you. Oh, oh, it's an eyeball. Okay. Click the Intel tab. Okay. Choose Stored Intel. Share to a villager. Michael. My god. Now he knows. Alright, okay, so now we just have to eliminate all the villagers. Oh, Belleth is going. We have more sludge critters up here. Oh, what's this? Oh, indestructible. Ah, uh, gotta recharge. Oh my gods. Michael. Getting murked. Grief stricken characters of villagers grief stricken. Grief stricken characters may sometimes refuse to eat. A tutorial quest has been added to teach you how to figure out what happened. Find the grief stricken. Is it dawn, perhaps? Grief stricken. Yes, indeed. Click on the log tab. Find the cause. Dawn has become... Oh, whoops. Grief stricken over Nigel's death. And for whatever reason, we're not allowed to... I mean, that's, that's the one. How do we find it? Does it specifically say? Check it. Click the relevant name. Okay, there we go. Oh, he he's super dead. Yeah, not gonna lie. Oh. We'll turn him into a skeleton right in front of you now that you've become grief stricken. Careful, your threat level has increased. Many of the things you can do generate only a small amount of threat. Goes down over our threat level is increased to 100. Once your threat level is increased to 100. Oh, jeez, it's attacking her now. She's like, oh, no, I gotta go. All right, take someone's item. Uh, how do we how do we do that? Okay, check an object's owner in, in its info tab. Find an object whose villager... Okay, one moment. Uh, it does not have... Okay, one more. Let's take a guitar. Bam! Took it. Put it in this person's house. Seize item owner. Darn it. Okay, try that again. Owner Bethilda. Owner Piper. 
We need to recharge our mana. info. Click on a villager, open its info tab. Click on its faction. Heron. A faction is a group of characters that belong together, typically has a single faction leader, sets several sets of ideologies, villager members, and claim territories. You can browse other details regarding the faction, including what they consider criminal acts, as well as their claim territories. Okay. So now... Oh, get out of here, man. We need to find Piper. We need to seize her. We need to put her in Bethilda's house. And then she'll be like, Hey, how could you do this? Especially when they're bad, bad or creaking wind. Just saw her guitar in Bethilda's home and now assumes that it has been stolen. Okay, click the item owner. Boop. Click the log tab. Boop. Click the assumed thief's name. Disapproving. We have clicked the assumed thief's name. Wait. Yeah. She did. Okay. No, that was dumb. Whatever. Uh, alright. Causing trouble. Oh. Let's get a golem. Oh, let me see how it is. Nigel was killed by Piper. Oh, Nigel was our skeleton or something. Okay. So... Is there anything these do? Crafted spikes. Nah, let's just keep going for it. Oh, you know... Oh, what happened here? Mana orbs have been produced by a villager. Hover over these to gain more mana. These are produced by villagers when they perform critical acts. Also produce these when they cry, so make sure to make them miserable. Barrack is in the farm. Bethilda is on the farm. Oh no, Bethilda is knocked out. Well, that's a perfect time to afflict Barrack. Oh, robust villagers are immune to the zombie virus. Well, Dawn, in the meantime. Dawn's mood is super low. She's bored. Oh, no, no. Hmm. Wait a second. Those are all just gravestones. Well, yeah, we think when she wakes up, she'll probably be a vampire. Oh, yeah. So she'll get better. And when she does, 
can we? Oh, we can't afflict those with anything. Barrack drank Bathilda's blood? My god, Barrack's also a vampire. Who isn't a vampire here? Huh. Nah, not right now. Just let it go. Eventually, they'll all be vampires and zombies. Evil. Who did we... Trigger flaw? Recharging. Oh, what a shame. That's okay. What kind of spells we got? Demons! Built a new dwelling, huh? Beric, become a vampire, or turn somebody else into a vampire, yeah! Nom 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 nom. Oh, he's taking her away. What? Oh, he, Barrack. That is a thing. Bethilda's now a vampire. Oh yeah, an evil kleptomaniacal vampire. As a procedural game, Ruin Arc will eventually be full of special events that have various triggers. In this world, you can turn an evil, treacherous character into a necromancer if you manage to get him to pick up the Necronomicon. Oh. So where is that Necronomicon? Boop. Where is that Necronomicon? Can we find a Necronomicon? Nope. Become vampire. So we are going to zombify you. She's not feeling so good, is she? No, oh, it doesn't, it doesn't, it just, okay. Yeah, she's just got it and she's just gonna die. Oh dear. What's gonna happen to her? She died suddenly. Due to an unknown reason. Barrack is like, uh, I don't know about this. Uh oh. There's a barrier right there in the middle of the town. That's funny. Well, she gonna be coming back. Now she back. Gonna spread the zombie virus. First person you see. Just strolling, huh? Undead. Hostile to everyone. Become a bit sadder. We're gonna make him... Gonna make him very sad. Sulking.
Barrick, oh. Oh, Barrick's going somewhere. He's gonna go drink Piper's blood. Uh. Piper, though. Seriously. She's lethargic. And then people are, like, drinking her blood, like, left and right. Jeez. We're a little sad. Oh, Rhett's back. Where the heck has Rhett been? Making tons of power on all these vampires. Dawn for whatever. Has just not come out or... Ah. Beric is a vampire. We are going to trigger vampirism. So he will attack her. Healing potion, antidote, tool barrel. No Necronomicon yet. He just flew around as a bat, that's hilarious. Now let's look at our more buildings. Ooh, Defira. Yes, please. Oh, yes, we are sure we want to build right next to that village. You've just built a new demonic structure, the Defira. This structure allows players to brainwash villagers into cultists. Click on the chamber. Boink. Central chamber. Oh, uh, here. No, that's a carpet. Okay, here we go. That's not a central chamber at all. Seize a brainwash target. Gold cultist candidates. Low or critical mood. Evil treacherous who have been recently betrayed are also much easier. Well, we think we know just the right person. Bethilda, you are evil and a kleptomaniac. So you will be our new cultist. Boom. Click on the chamber. Whoa, they just got out real fast. Okay. Stop, Mathilda. Got it. Jeez. Okay, click on the chamber, click the brainwash button. There we go. Cultists are secretly aligned with your cause. They won't be under your control for the most part, but they will perform special ac actions to assist you. Depending on your archetype, archetype, you may also instruct them to preach, spread rumor, place traps, or snatch other villagers. A cultist may even become a cult leader. Yeah, that's a thing. So, are you being brainwashed, or are you actually brainwashed? Healing expert, fire, diplomatic, starving, refreshed, pretend. Okay, so she's stuck in there for now, it seems. Successfully brainwashed. Very nice. Good. Next. Michael is depressed, isn't he? Oh, come on, man. Info? There we go, Michael. Michael is lethargic and pessimistic, which makes him perfect to drop in here against his will. 
and brainwash. There is clearly a demonic port. Oh! He's asleep. Okay, that's good. Nice. We have four villagers left who have died already. We're doing our best to basically take this slowly. Brainwash, Michael. Oh, <laughs> good. Rat, what are you doing? Go vampirize somebody. The opposite of what we were thinking. Wait, what's this skeleton archer do? What the heck? Okay, eyes. Okay. Boink. Okay. Oh. A grimoire. Perhaps. Uh. Where is Bethilda? She's a cultist. Preach to Michael. And now we can't seize him, darn. Michael, have you heard of our Lord and Savior? I'm going to beat you up over. are back. Oh. oh, here we go. Oh, he's going for it. Legolas. Cowering in terror like a fool. He's supposed to be robust and inspiring, but actually he's just not. We have a cultist, intel, demon, spells. Huh. Caught your house on fire. Piper's like, oh my god, no. And we're like, oh my god. Yes, Piper. You gonna be brainwashed. Right, we need to breed. All right. Did it work? Could not be brainwashed for now. Does this skeleton archer belong to us? We're very confused. What's this demonic portal do? Okay, we guess it mostly just glows. What are you, plinth orb? Piper, are you a f What?
Why don't you just go vampire people up? Uh... Oh, a character has just contracted the zombie virus! Nice. Find that newly infected character. Michael contracted the zombie virus from Dawn. Click on the log tab. Click on the infected source. Infect villagers and monsters become zombies when they die. They arise at dusk and they become lifeless at dawn. They're hostile to everyone except other undead. That includes your minions. They can infect those they attack. Go ahead and start your own zombie apocalypse. Oh boy. Just gonna put her right there. What's up here? Assault. Oh, Michael accused Piper of being a vampire. All the while, Michael is a zombie in the making. Piper's dead. Oh, jeez. Barrick is... Oh, he turned into a zombie or something. Oh, jeez. Human meat. Wow. Well, we guess some of them killed each other off, huh? Oh, are they not going to attack Barrack? No, they're totally going to attack Barrack. Bathilda is... somewhere? Oh dear. Starving malnourished. Oh dear. Yes, indeed, that's what you're supposed to do. What? What exactly do the eyes do, though? Yeah, it doesn't say. Oh boy. Oh, what's your flaw? How can we. But you know what? I'm just gonna put you on the ground real quick. And then kill you. Oh no, how's he still alive? Asteroids. Divine intervention. Because there aren't enough combatants, uh, combatant villagers, the divine has sent down four angels to stop you from your transgressions. Well, we should probably plop one of those down. Maybe one of them. Probably one of them. The monsters, right? Alright. Bethilda's just dying. Uh, that's fine. Oh, 
Oh, jeez. Those angels, man, they, uh... They screwed us up. Oh, that doesn't matter. Well, in that case, I guess there's only one thing we can do. We need to splash poison and meteorite. Lightning this fool till he dies. And he killed our eyes. Are there other warrior angels around just like hanging or no yeah there are three angels so where's a good spell for this zathia oh that didn't hold her back at all Don't do it. Don't do it. Because if we get all mad and pissed, you couldn't be saved if cops came with formatted discs. Kablam! Quality 90s Nickelodeon entertainment, fools. We are done with you. My god, Barrack. We're sorry, but your time is done here. Become super vampire. Uh Okay, well in that case, die. Die. It's like, oh, jeez. I need to turn into a bat now. Oh, jeez. Yeah, suddenly now the world has turned against you, hasn't it? Well. What can we do to the magical angels? Can we do anything? Produce some demons. All right. Uh. Um, no. Okay. Fair enough. Let's just make that wrath demon. Let's just pop him right down there in front of everybody. This guy is in a perfect position to have giant spiders in his house. Oh yeah. Atkins. Raise Piper from the dead to immediately attack Atkins. Village has been killed by a monster. Find the dead villager. Click on its log. Piper killed it. Cool. Okay. So there are two villagers remaining.
We want to... Oh, are you a cultist? Rat? You're not a cultist, you're just a vampire. Whatever, we think... There are more than enough people to raise from the dead. More than enough people to raise from the dead. <laughs> Barrack's like, I need to feed, what am I gonna do? Oh boy. Rat. Huh. Are we suddenly being attacked by angels or something? We are actually. Freezing trap. Splash poison. Meteor. Lightning. Ooh, this took a mean, a mean go. Uh, okay, Rats. This one's the only one left. Oh no, there's one. Nice. Nope, not gonna happen, Angel. Already done. Bethilda, rise and serve your master. Oh, how many villages do we have? Barrack? Oh, man. Rhett and Barrack. Plop a dude right there. Oh, is Rhett, like, super cool? Hmm. Yeah, maybe we should just zap him so we can die. Oh, you're not, you're not gonna live. Oh. We're pretty sure that would kill him. All right. All right, Rhett. It's just you and us. And we have fun with people like that. Yeah. Kablam! Oh, he's gone. He's just gone. Oh my god. It's... Yes, all right, this is reasonable. Oh, that's great, this is fun. We like that.
We actually like that a lot. We think uh, we think that was a reasonable, that was a surprisingly fun tutorial. We think we're gonna leave it there. If you like what you saw, remember to like, subscribe, and do all of those other lovely support things for the channel. Make sure to hit up our Patreon and pledge even just a dollar a month, because not only does it help our Patreon, but it helps here on the channel and everywhere else that we do literally anything. Thanks a bunch, everybody. Stay safe, stay inside, save lives, remember that black lives matter, and oh my goodness, please wear your mask.